All right, so how can we go about dividing the body? Well, we divide the body based off of anatomical axes. And the anatomical axes are the same X, Y, and Z axes that we see with uh, geometry. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna provide us three primary planes. We're gonna get, be able to have a right and left. We're gonna be able to have a front and back. We're gonna be able to have a top and bottom. So what are the things that we're gonna be looking at? Well, the sagittal plane is gonna divide us into right and left. It's a vertical plane that lies along the, the Y axis of the body. There's a specialized plane within this sagittal plane, where if we're directly along the middle of the body, what's referred to as the midline, then we're equally dividing the body into right and left. This is what's referred to as mid-sagittal. Another plane is gonna be in what we can think about as like the X axis, and this is gonna be the transverse plane. And so the transverse plane is gonna be cutting uh, in, along the X axis in giving us a Z orientation. And so what this is gonna do is this is gonna be able to divide us so we have a superior and an inferior orientation. Now there's not really a midpoint in the transverse part of the body, so we don't really have a mid-transverse section of the body itself. We can have mid-transverse sections within the appendages, within the uh, extremities of the body. But what we're dealing here in the transverse or horizontal plane is we're cutting across perpendicular to the long axis of the body. Another one's gonna cut across the long axis of the body is the coronal plane. The coronal plane is gonna cut across the x-axis and giving us a z-plane orientation, a depth orientation. And so what this does is this provides an anterior and a posterior view within the appendages and within the organs, or a ventral and dorsal view within the body itself. Now we have to be very careful in terms of which term we use in terms of anterior and posterior or dorsal and ventral, and we'll look at that when we talk about uh, organizations and orientation language here in a second.